Hello Makers! Welcome to another episode of 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk comparisons. Stick around. Hello Makers! Many of you have asked me the same question over and over again, and that is, how do I compare the printers that I have so far? I've had this question asked so many times that I've decided to sit down and let you know why it is impossible for me to compare these three printers. What I can do, however, is compare my experience and expectation uh, between these three printers, and I would like to also elaborate on what kind of person should get which kind of printer. So first up is the Prusa i3 Mark II. It is the most expensive out of the three printers that I own and within reason. The first thing going for it, in my opinion, is the accuracy. The prints that come out of this thing are absolutely awesome. They're near perfect, and if they're not perfect, it's not because of the printer, but it's because I just haven't dialed in the settings correctly, whether it's I'm changing filaments, whether I'm not used to the filament, um, whether it's temperature changes, uh, it just takes me a while to dial in the settings. However, once you do dial in the settings, prints come out absolutely amazing. And the quality of this thing is simply unparalleled when compared to these two printers. The other thing that I absolutely love about this printer is its reliability. Um, I've used all three printers long enough to know that if I have a 50, 60 hour print, this is the machine I want to trust that print with. I know that it will finish, I know that it will finish well, and it would not let me down. One of the most important things that it also has going for it is the company behind it. Prusa Research have a lot of manpower behind the scenes, which we don't know. We only see Yosef uh, Prusa in, uh, in the media. However, every time I went to their site, I've asked questions. There is always someone there to help. You go to their online support and they're always there to help you. Um, some of them also go way above and beyond their call of duty to assist you, um, but they do. And that's something very rare. Um, so far, I have to be honest, I haven't had issues that I needed assistance with uh, the Wanhao and the Micromake Delta, uh, but there are specific reasons for that too, which I will get into. The issues I've had with this are purely technical and I had to ask questions because I was still really new at this. Next up is the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus. Now this is the mid-level printer in terms of price. It cost me less than 400 euros because it was on a Black Friday deal, but usually costs less than 500 euros. So we're talking a couple of hundred euros less than the Prusa. This thing was very easy to build and it was very easy to print with right out of the box. Um, it didn't need tinkering, instructions were very clear, um, and I was printing with it a few minutes after I, I, I took it out of the box, possibly less than half an hour in total. I love the rigidity of this thing and I love the community behind it. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that actually cater for the duplicator series. Uh, for example, this one is sporting the Flexion Extruder HT, which I'm still testing out, and it just took the prints to a whole different level. Now this, while the quality is not the same as the Prusa i3 Mark II, it still prints at a very, very good quality. Um, so I'm extremely happy with that. Support-wise, I didn't need them um, for the simple fact that it's it's extremely straightforward and easy to use. I love the touchscreen interface on this thing, so it makes it very user-friendly. In terms of reliability, I might trust it a bit more than I used to now. As you probably have seen in my reviews, I've had issues doing the marble um, game from Thingiverse because it kept failing due to the lack of decent cooling that it had. Now granted, I could have simply twisted that, um, that model uh, or rotated more likely um, and it would have printed better. However, it just put that sort of thing in my mind that I, I 
can't really trust or fully trust a very long print on this printer. However, for the price it is, um, is set to, it is absolutely worth it. It prints right out of the box, easy to use, very user friendly and very rigid. So for under 400 euros, uh, that's absolutely an amazing machine. Last but not least is the Micromake Delta 3D printer. Now this was the cheapest printer out of the three that I own. It cost me less than 250 euros and that included the printer, upgrade heated bed, upgrade power supply, shipping, taxes, so it was an absolute bargain. I bought it because it was cheap, because I thought it would be a challenge for me, which it absolutely was to build, but I enjoyed the hell out of it. It took me a whole day uh, due to the fact that the instructions were in Chinese. Granted, later during the day I was forwarded a bunch of links and it turns out the following of this printer is insanely huge. There's Facebook groups, there's Google Drives filled with instructions, firmware upgrades, settings, assisted uh, auto leveling help. So I was absolutely impressed by it. Build quality, it's fairly decent. It has an aluminium frame. It is, uh, it has uh, injection molded parts for the corners, so no printed stuff whatsoever. And it also has linear guide, guide rails, which make it much more accurate. And as you probably have seen during the, uh, the review I did, the prints were quite decent, so I was quite happy. In terms of reliability, I do trust it, but I trust it with small prints. And the only reason for that is um, the auto leveling is a bit finicky. So um, I, I have to do small prints because if I go way too large, um, it might, the, the hot end might snag or the fan shroud might snag with the clips of the heat bed. Um, but other than that, it was well worth the price I paid for it. I'm happy it, it prints properly i i literally have no complaints about the printer against the money i spent for it now where does this leave me in terms of uh, comparing these printers now the prusa was the most expensive printer that i got was it worth the price i paid for it yes absolutely the print quality on this thing is amazing i absolutely love it i love that i can print any material with it the only issue mentally myself um, that I had with this printer is the fact that I've read so much about it before I got it. Um, there was so much hype that it, in my mind it, it occurred to me that this is the perfect printer. And having assembled it and um, having had issues with it, I, I kind of couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed that maybe it's my printer is just this particular one so kind of put me a bit down thinking okay maybe i paid a bit too much for it however once i sorted out all the issues i can see the hype for it it is an absolutely amazing machine it's not perfect as i've said before and i will always say it there is no such thing as a perfect printer but this this is an absolutely great machine the Duplicator i3 Plus is probably the only printer out of these three where I was not disappointed with it and I wasn't impressed with it. Um, and the reason is that it feels like it's set at the right price point for the quality that you're getting. It is not too expensive. It is not too cheap. Um, the build quality is fairly good. Um, the print quality is more than decent it's very user friendly it's very easy to build and i think for a beginner this would absolutely be perfect it also has a huge following on facebook so there are a lot of support groups which can assist you with any issue you have for this printer and you can even make it more rigid um, with all the printable upgrades this printer has so i believe it's an absolutely great great printer Finally, the Micromake Delta 3D printer. Now it feels weird because this printer should not be compared in any way, shape or form to these two printers. It is a completely different printer in every aspect. However, my experience with it can be compared to any printer. I did not expect anything out of that printer when I bought it. It was cheap, it was from China, and I thought to myself, I'd just be happy if all the parts were in the box for me to print or, or to build this printer, let alone print. 
And that was why I was so impressed with it, because not only did I manage to build it, it printed, and it printed really well. And I haven't stopped using it since. And recently I've spent maybe an additional 50 euros to put a build tech on it, an E3D V6, I reprinted the fan shroud, and now it just works absolutely perfectly. It's, it's just, it prints very well. Granted, once again, not perfect prints, but I absolutely love it. If I have anything quick and simple that I want to print, I will use it. And to think that it cost me under 250 euros to, to get this printer, it just blew my mind. And that, and that is why, because I did not expect anything out of it. Um, yes, there were some drawbacks in terms of building it. It was really complicated um, due to the fact that everything was in Chinese. However, once I sorted that out and found some links online, it was just a breeze and I absolutely loved that printer. So which do I recommend out of all these three printers? Um, well, all of them, to be honest. It just depends on who you are and what your experience is with or what you expect to do with these printers. If you're someone who is just beginning, um, likes to tinker around a lot, but have a very small budget, go for the Micromake Delta. Um, if you're someone who is, once again, a beginner, um, you're scared of 3D printing, you don't want to build your own kit, uh, have a medium budget, go for the Wanhao, possibly the duplicator version 2.1. Um, I, I, I know I don't have one here, but from what I've read, they're fairly similar in terms of print quality. So that's about 150 euros less. So that's possibly your option. You have a slightly larger budget, a beginner, and don't want to build your own kit, then the uh, Duplicator i3 Plus is the one for you. If you're someone who can afford to spend that much more um, um, and have the ability to build your own kit, then the Prusa i3 Mark II is for you. It is absolutely an awesome printer. Instructions are easy to follow. It will teach you a lot about printers. And if you're someone who's spending 600, 700 euros on a kit, then you're probably someone who can add an additional um, 100, 200 euros to buy it pre-built if you don't want to get your hands dirty and have something that can print right out of the box. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I know it's not the kind of comparison that anyone would expect. However, it's, it's very difficult to compare printers of different caliber, um, especially with with three diverse printers like these. The truth is I love all three printers. Once again, I've paid myself for these printers. Um, I, I was not endorsed by anyone. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I wasn't paid to do these reviews. Um, I'm simply doing it because you guys have asked me to um, and I'm happy to oblige. So if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. I'd be absolutely happy um, to see what I can do. In the meantime, that is all for me for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I will reply. Follow me on Twitter. And in the meantime, happy making, guys.